Hey guys, it's Earl and this is the Logitech G300S. The G300S is a strong contender in the category of budget gaming or productivity mouse. Now we say productivity since it is in that line of reasoning that made me pick the G300S as my main work mouse. And as most of you guys might know, I don't really game a lot or at all. Now for 20 bucks or 900 Philippine pesos, the G300S gives you 9 programmable buttons and I guess it's safe to say that this is its strongest selling point. Having all these buttons on this price range takes this option to a higher level. As far as click feel goes, the left and right buttons don't feel unusual nor do they feel like anything special. The other buttons however are something to talk about. The G4 and G6 buttons have a sort of longer travel before a click actually registers while the button directly above those have a slightly shorter travel. The buttons below the scroll wheel, G9 and G8, have the best click feel among the other buttons, excluding the normal left and right ones. Now, speaking of the scroll wheel, the wheel itself is made of soft rubber and has a smooth surface. It has a ratchet scrolling action. However, the spin of the ratchet isn't that clicky so it might feel mushy for some. The wheel can also be pressed which feels the same as the G8 and G9 buttons. The sides of the G300S are covered with soft rubber patched with hexagonal patterns. Near the top of the rubber paddings are the LED strip with colors that can be adjusted to 8 different choices, which will show you how later. The bottom of the G300S is composed of glossy light blue plastic, topped with three rubber pads which offer very good glide on my SteelSeries QCK Mini mousepad. When it comes to grip and comfort, I think the G300S can be of palm type if your hands are small enough. However, for blokes with big palms out there, gripping a claw type is also good. The curves on the side of the G300S is really comfy and creates space for your fingers to rest on. One attribute of the G300S that makes it popular is that it is ambidextrous in design. Now the real magic comes when you use the G300S with the Logitech gaming software. The software can be downloaded from logitech.com slash support slash G300S. First things first, via the software, one can pick either of the two modes for the mouse, namely onboard memory and automatic game detection. When using onboard memory mode, the mouse can cycle through three profiles which you can predefine using the Logitech gaming software. The profiles are stored in the mouse itself and can be accessed using the G8 or G9 button depending on your setting. However, using the automatic game detection mode is probably the best way to utilize the prowess of this mouse. Using this mode, the user can create a profile for each game or application. Thus, you can have specific functions for online buttons, specific DPI, and specific light color for every game or application with a corresponding profile. Now that is crazy. So the software automatically detects what game or application is active and seamlessly activates the corresponding profile. The default profiles activate whenever none of the specific profiles are active. In almost all cases, my middle button stands for show desktop, G9 for mission control, and G8 for showing application windows. A button can represent a lot of combos such as specific keystroke, multi-key combo, a text block, basic mouse function, open and alias, and of course to represent media, system, and system function shortcuts. For the position guys out there, the G300S is capable of handling DPIs from 200 to 2500 with report rates of 125, 250, 500, and 1000 reports per second. As for the colors, the two LED strips can send off 8 shades of color, namely white, yellow, pink, red, light blue, green, blue, and black. There are a lot of customization possibilities in this one, and you'll possibly find a way to create whatever shortcut you want in just a click of your mouse button. Alright, so that was a lengthy discussion, but I would say that the G300S surely deserved one. Paying 20 bucks for a Logitech gaming mouse jam-packed with those buttons and features surely is quite a steal. 
I placed the Lazada and Amazon links for the G300S down below for your easy access. When buying via the links below, you pay for the exact same price but in the process, help this channel grow. Don't forget to hit the like button and please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching guys, see you in the next video.